Welcome to The Debrief. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Matilda Vimberg. Matilda, it's great to have you with us after a fantastic victory against Leicester City. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? Good. I'm very good, thank you. I'm very good. I'm even better because I'm here today to chat to you about your very first goal in the WSL. A fantastic goal. And I think we should just jump straight in and take a look at it. So, talk me through it from your perspective because we get the ball at the back here. Becky Spencer plays a long ball up to Celine. Yeah. From your perspective, how does the rest of that goal go down? I mean, it goes really quickly uh, from, uh, as you said, Becky's um, uh, great delivery to Celine, who's managed to get in. She has a player behind her, but she's uh, solving it so good. Uh, and then it's just go quickly. And what I, I was just feeling like I need to run mm -hmm. as fast as I can. Uh, we talked about uh, the transition games. We talked about counterattacks uh, to like really use them uh, really good, which I think we did. Uh, it's a fantastic build up play from Becky all the way up to to um, yeah to the other goal. Yeah, of course. Well, we've seen you guys do that a lot recently in the game uh, that we recently beat Manchester City in the FA Cup. We saw Becky, you know, at the back, play that long ball up to Grace, who flicked it to Amy, and then obviously Bethany gets the goal right at the end. So let me bring you down to our floor graphics because, like you just said, we saw it again. And I want to talk about your specific movement in this goal because we see at the back, Becky picks up the ball. There's a lovely bit of play down the left between Drew and Celine. But the whole time you stick to this right wing and you come in very late. Jess plays a lovely crossfield ball right into your path, and it's a brilliant finish. So Talk to me from kind of this perspective, when the, the build-up is happening, yeah. what are your thoughts initially? Are you expecting to get onto the end of this in the box? You know, when you play, you really don't think about so many things. <laughs> uh, for me, I see, you know, I see Celine, I see Jessica and, and Grace um, just running. And we all, you know, we know that Nas is really quick. Um, so you have to keep up her pace. So I just kind of, you know, just running on the blind side, um, trying to just, um, you know, beat my player, beat the defender, and it's a beautiful delivery. And I'm just kind of, you know, continuing my run all the way through uh, and get that touch in. Absolutely. Is it something that you've worked on in training, trying to arrive late at the back post? Yeah, we are talking a lot about, like, uh, getting into these spaces, the back post, the front post, and the penalty uh, spot. Uh, we're always trying to you know, have numbers in the box. Uh, and now, you know, it's from uh, the, the left side. So I kind of just like running uh, the back post. And it's um, it's easy to score when you get a great delivery from, from Jessica uh, that you just can run into and, and take the first touch into the goal. Yeah, but take nothing away from the finish. It was an excellent finish as well. So massive credit to you. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of Robert's tactics because you scored that goal very, very early on. Yeah. So was it something that Robert wanted the team to do to start very quickly in this game? Yeah, we, we talked about before the game, we talked about um, the, f the first 10, 15 minutes to be really aggressive um, because we knew that Leicester City is a aggressive team. They are man marking. Uh, it's hard to, you know, maybe have the time and the space where you usually have in games. Um, so I think we solved that perfectly, uh, especially the goal is a great example of how we wanted to, how we wanted the game to begin. Uh, so yeah, it was really, really nice to, to have that one zero goal uh, really early in the game because we talked about it before and we also uh, practiced on it before. Yeah, um, they definitely helped scoring early, that's for sure. Yeah. Obviously, Leicester are a team that we're going to be playing in the semi-final of the Women's FA Cup. Was there any additional pressure playing them in the league so soon after that quarter-final? No, I wouldn't say that. I would say it's a, like a benefit for us to actually um, play them uh, one more time now after we be be uh, beat them uh, this um, weekend. So it's, I think it's just great for us to kind of take this week and, and analyze the game and see what we can improve because we are all we all agree that we didn't play the best game the best football uh, we know we can do so much more uh, we created a lot of chances and I think you know the final third is important when we have those chances to really take care of those moments those chances to to score and kind of kill the game early yeah well something that you take 
a lot of caring is your relationship with our fans. Ever since you joined the club, you've had a very close relationship with them. They're always turning out whether we're home or away. And we saw this video very recently of you surprising a fan with your match warm boots. So talk me through this moment. Um, yeah, I mean, I always been, uh, you know, really close to the supporters uh, from experience. Uh, I played for a fantastic club in Sweden called Hammarby and the supporters are amazing and you know all the all the energy and time they are putting on like to come and, and see us play and, and uh, all of those kind of things the le least I can do back is to give my my love and support back to them uh, to thank them for coming to the game I think it's it's really important as a player to feel their support and uh, hearing them you know, supporting us uh, from first from the first minute to the to the last minute. You know, I, I, I feel so happy and, and I feel like I want to make this boy in this video uh, his day. And um, I just didn't think so much. I just wanted to give, you know, some something back. And that's the least I could do. Yeah, well, it was a super, super nice thing you did. And I know the fans are fully behind you and we could hear it when you scored that goal early in this game, the roar that went up from that home crowd was absolutely fantastic. I'm sure you really appreciated that. Yeah, of course. And uh, it was a special uh, moment to have my family in the stands as well. Uh, to, s to see my, my first goal in the, in the Spurs jersey, it was a special moment. And um, I'm really happy that they, they were there and, and saw me, uh, yeah, do my first goal. Amazing stuff. Well, plenty more games to go this season, including that cup semi-final. So let's hope we can get a few more goals from you very, very soon, Matilda. But congratulations on your first one in English football. Thank you so much. No problem. And thank you so much for joining us here on The Debrief. It's been a pleasure to have Matilda join us. Make sure you guys join us next time.